Hi everyone and welcome to Taste Test with Mike. I haven't done one of these in a little while. I've done, you know, reviews on uh, taste tests in the morning, but I haven't done just a regular one in a while during the day. And uh, one reason is I've been skipping lunch a lot. Uh, I might eat, like yesterday I had a banana for lunch, I believe it was yesterday. Or I just skip it all together. I'm, I'm, I'm not wanting to gain any more weight. <laughs> I'm actually wanting to go back. I've lost seven pounds and I've been able to keep it off. But I just can't seem to lose anymore. I'm not really, really, I'm not on a diet or anything. I'm just trying to eat less and stuff like that. You know, I need to get out there and walk, but it's been so cold. But anyway, I've had this for a couple weeks and I've got another one that's different than this one. And I got this at Walmart. It's great value brand. It says with spork. You've probably seen the thumbnail. It's a teriyaki tuna bowl. I can't remember what the other one is. It's it's another, I believe it's tuna also. But uh, it, it's a teriyaki tuna bowl with white rice. And what's this say? I don't know what that is. Uh, ready in one minute. Meal or snack ready in one minute on the go. And it's got a pretty good date, August of 2023. So that's good. It says great for any occasion, on the go, camping, at the gym, sports nutrition. Okay, so let's look at the nutrition facts on this. Uh, calories 340 if you eat the whole thing. The total fats only 5 grams at 6%. Uh, 1 gram of saturated fat 5%. That's great. Um, trans fat 0. Cholesterol 20 milligrams at 7%. Sodium, 960 milligrams is 42%. That's, I, I don't know what, looks like they would put less, but what, what can you do about that? Um, a lot of, you know, like the ramen and stuff like that, or even canned soup, for instance. Let's see. We're fixing to have some of this. This is tomato, great value. Just I want to see how much sodium's in it. Um, and keep in mind, when you make something like this, this is condensed soup, it's 2.5 servings if you eat the whole thing, if you, you know, after you put the water in it. So if, if you just have one serving, which is only a half a cup, that isn't much, uh, it's 21%, say. So if you ate, that would be two more servings, which would be another... 42%, that'd be 63%. See, if you ate the whole thing. So, soup. Okay. Um, total carbs, 54 grams, that's 20%. 5 grams of fiber is 18%. 10 grams of sugar, that's because of the teriyaki sauce, I'm sure. And 10 grams added sugar is 20%. It's got 18 grams of protein, that's really good. Six, uh, vitamin D, 6%. Hi, kitty. It's right up your alley with this tuna. Uh, iron, 6%, and potassium, 6%. You still got a little bit of your treats. Not treats. These, this is Frisky's seafood something uh, she was eating this morning. Okay. Looking at the ingredients a little bit. White rice, skipjack tuna, water, soy sauce. Back up. Back up. Uh... Sunflower oil, sugar, brown sugar, red bell peppers, rice bran oil, bell pepper, ginger. Sit down, honey, over here. Okay, that's a good girl. What like that. You gonna eat some of yours? Okay, so let's see what this is like. She may go crazy when she realizes this. I don't think you would like teriyaki, though. Okay, so it's got the rice here, and it does have a spork. There's a rice. Are you supposed to microwave this rice is what I'm wondering. Fully cooked, enjoy right away or heat in the microwave for one minute. So this you can eat it as is. Um, heat and warm. Okay, so I don't I don't really need to uh, heat it up. I I'd rather just let me see what this is like. Let's see how I'm going to use a little spork here. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing here a little bit better. Okay, let's see about this. 
Some of these aren't very sturdy that you know they'll break like or, or you know fold back in. And here's the tuna stuff. I'm afraid to try to do that. I'll spill it. You think you would like some of it, Kitty? I bet you wouldn't need any of it. Let me stir this up a little. I don't think she'll eat this because of the teriyaki. Let's give her a little. See what you think of that. Okay. It's quite a bit of it. It really is. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and microwave this a little bit. It said for one minute because it's uh, the rice is a little bit. Uh, clumped up and I think that'll make it um, softer so hold on okay yeah that was the thing to do I so I would really suggest that because uh, you know how these instant these uh, ready to eat rice are they're kind of a little bit hard you have to break it up before you microwave it that's kind of like this well see see what happens with these so I don't know about having that if you had to use this I guess you could but chances are that's what will happen okay mmm you didn't want that you like rice Kitty licked around on it a little bit, but she didn't eat it. She probably, the teriyaki probably. Mmm. Well, I don't know. It seems like the good things about this outweigh the bad. The salt you know was the main thing I guess the sodium it really is very good y'all if you like teriyaki you're going to like this it's not a real, like, powerful, you know, it's not a real strong teriyaki taste, but it doesn't taste like fishy either. So, just enough to season that, you know, tuna. There's quite a bit here. I think you could make a meal out of this. At least for lunch for me. I don't know if I, you know, myself, I don't know if I would eat one of these for dinner. If I had to, I would. You know, I just don't eat stuff like that, you know. We, I try to fix a, a, a meal. This, not that this isn't a meal, but this is something more like I would have at lunch for me. Maybe if I was in a hurry, like I said, on the go, you know. Uh, if you had something come up that you were having to go somewhere real quick and you, you had to eat something and you didn't want to eat out because it's so expensive these days, um, which we're limiting, you know, we're going to start being more careful with that. It's okay, I think, to splurge every now and then, you know. I like this. It's, it is good. So, I, you know, the sodium, it's, it's in everything, you know. So, I don't know whether really to take off anything for that. I think what I'm going to start doing is uh, 
I'm going to uh, do give you a number for the taste. I did that. Uh, I think it was maybe the, on morning coffee break. But anyway, um, I think uh, for taste wise, I give this a five. Um, if you wanted a stronger teriyaki taste, if you had some more sauce, you could put it in it. For me, this is fine. It's just right. But if some people like a little bit more, Logan even might like a little more teriyaki flavor or something. It'd be easy to put a little bit in there and stir it up. Um, I definitely, you know, want to give it a five. And and on the uh, nutrition facts, I think I'm going to do a separate one on the, the taste and the nutrition facts. On the nutrition facts, uh, like I said, the only thing I mainly saw, only 6% of total fat, only 5% of saturated fat. That's good. No trans fat. The cholesterol, even though it has 20 milligrams, that's only 7%. So you got carbs a little bit, 20%. The carbs, so the carbs, maybe sugars, that's not real bad, 20% if it's a, like your lunch or a meal. Good protein. So, so kind of the carbs are a little high in the sodium. So as far as the nutrition facts, I'm going to give it a four and a half. Um, really, over if, if this is one of your meals and the carbs is only 20%, uh, chances are you might not you know that might be a decent number if it's one of your meals because you figure you know uh, three times from you know in a hundred is 33 percent you know if you figure it that way that's below what one meal would be you know of course you might have snacks and everything like that but anyway I just you know I just want to explain it a little bit more I don't want to <coughs> give it a a four or whatever and it tastes great and just because of something in the nutrition facts so I'm, I think I'm gonna start doing that uh, is is a separate one on taste and stuff uh, this is easy to fix uh, real easy to fix things like that and then the nutrition facts so I guess I said a five for the taste and a four and a half for the nutrition facts taking off a half of one uh, because it has some good things about it, you know, so taking off a half of one for the carbs being just a little high Not that that's real bad and the, the sodium is the main thing these days So I hope y'all enjoyed this taste test with Mike if you did I hope you'll press that like button I hope you already have pressed it before I even say this also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that So you get all my videos as soon as they come out Everybody get you one of these. Um, they had, I can't remember what all flavors they had. Like I said, I've got another one in there. Hold on just a second. I want to show you the other one because I'll do it one day. Hold on. Okay, here's uh, here's this one. The next one I'll be doing. Sweet chili tomato tuna bowl. That sounds good. Sweet chili tomato tuna bowl. And, you know, I like barbecue in it. I call it tuna cue. Uh, my mom and uh, sister used to be on a diet many you know when, when my, we were young when all of us were younger I guess <laughs> you know but uh, they ate tuna a lot and then they started using barbecue sauce in it it's hard to tell it from regular barbecue it really is you, you'd never know it was tuna unless somebody told you just about but um, sweet chili tomato sounds good so that'll be the next time I do a, a taste test with Mike I'll try not to make it a month or something in between them but uh, just been busy with the holidays and everything. So, so everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press that like button, like I said. I did all that. So I hope everybody has a great day, and we'll see you later on. God bless.